Hey guys, I'm Caleb, and in today's video, I'm going to tell you all about Auto Ripple in Filmora 9. Ripple Delete is a fast way to delete a clip. When you click Ripple Delete on a clip, it will bring the two clips on either side of it together. With Filmora 9.2 or above, you will see this symbol on the left side of the timeline. This is called Auto Ripple. With Auto Ripple, you will no longer have to right click and click Ripple Delete to get a ripple edit. Auto Ripple will be on by default. This means when you delete a clip, the other clips on either side will come together. If you click this button, you can turn off Auto Ripple. Now if I delete the clip, it will leave a gap. Let's look at another feature with Auto Ripple. Let's say we want to swap the position of these two clips in my video. With Auto Ripple on, you can click and drag one clip over top of the other clip. To make this work, you need to line up the start of both clips just like this. Then the clips will swap once you release it. If you drag the clip on the right only part of the way over the other clip, Filmora will place the rest of that clip after. You will not lose any frames of your video because Ripple Edit will preserve it. If you decide to toggle Auto Ripple off, then the clip on the right will overwrite the clip on the left. This means anything you cover with the clip on the right will be deleted. There's even more you can do with Auto Ripple. Let's say you want to place a clip into your video somewhere in the middle. Without Auto Ripple, you would select all the clips to the right and move them over to make space. Then place your clip in, then select the clips again and drag them back over. Luckily with Auto Ripple, this is made much more easy. You can drag the clip to the exact position you want between the two clips. You will see a green line up here to indicate that the clip will be placed in between the two clips. You can do this with any clip, making changing the order of your clips a breeze. If you drag the edge of a clip with Ripple toggled on, it will preserve the rest of your clips just like this. Ripple Edit will affect multiple tracks. If you don't want that to happen, you can simply lock the track so it won't be affected. Then, the only one that will be affected is the unlocked tracks. Auto Ripple will affect multiple tracks. Let's say I want this explosion video and audio to line up. With Auto Ripple toggled off, if I delete this clip, I would have to drag over these clips and make sure the sound lines up with the explosion. With Ripple on, everything will snap together. If you want to leave Ripple on and don't want to move the effect and sound, you can lock those tracks before deleting the clip. And there you have it, everything you need to know about using Ripple Edit in Filmora 9. Thanks for watching. Check out some of our other tutorials to learn how to take your video from start to finish with Filmora 9.